So in this video, a particle is launched from a point on horizontal ground with speed 18 meters per second at an angle of 42 degrees above the horizontal. The particle needs to clear a wall that is 10 meters high and 5 meters from the particle's starting position. Does it clear the wall? So here is the trajectory of the particle, okay, starting off at 18 meters per second as its initial speed at an angle of 42 degrees to the horizontal. Here's the wall that is 10 meters high and 5 meters away from the starting position. So let's start off with writing down the acceleration is 0i minus 9.8j. Right, so I want to integrate this, so I'm going to get the 18 cosine 42 as the initial velocity. I, and we've got the initial velocity for the y component uh, is 18 sine 42, and then I integrate the minus 9.8, so minus 9.8t, j. Then I integrate again. The initial starting point is 0, 0, so I'm just going to get 18t cosine 42i plus 18t sine 42 minus 4.9t squared j. Okay, now I need to find uh, the time at which the horizontal component is 5 metres. So the horizontal uh, displacement is this one here. So 18t cosine of 42 is equal to 5. So that will allow me to find the time. So 5 divided by 18 times cosine of 42 gets me 0 0.3737, etc. OK, so that's the time uh, that the particle takes to reach five metres horizontally. So now I can figure out the particle's vertical displacement by substituting that number into the vertical component for the displacement here. OK, so I can get 18 times t, the 0.3737 uh, times sine of 42. Take away 4.9 times 0 0.3737 squared. So we get 18 times the answer key times sine of 42. Take away 4.9 times the answer key squared. And that's 3.8174, so 3.8 metres to two significant figures, which is clearly a lot shorter than the 10 metres it needed to be to clear the wall. So, the particle does not clear the wall. Okay, it needed to be 10 metres, over 10 metres high, but actually it's only 3.8 metres high. So, in relation to the wall, it's somewhere down there instead of where it needs to be. 